Hello, it's Professor Fiore, and we're going to be looking at AC electrical circuit analysis in this sequence of videos. For success, you need a good grounding in DC electrical circuit analysis and a mastery of trigonometry. While you can use any book to supplement these videos, this is designed to dovetail with the OER AC electrical analysis text that I've written. This is a free download. You can get it at my website, mvcc.edu jfiori. And you just come down here to the free books page. And here are all of the OER texts I've written, plus more. So we're interested in this AC electrical circuit analysis text. There is also a laboratory manual that goes along with this. These are available in PDF and ODT, Open Document Text, which works with OpenOffice, as well as print form at a modest cost. This will take you to Amazon, and here is the uh, print version of the book, 1250 currently. Uh, this is a 400 plus page book. We'll take a look at it in just a sec. So let's open up the PDF here. and take a look at what we'll be discussing. We'll start off with uh, basic definitions, sinusoidal waveforms, complex numbers, reactance and impedance. Move on down to series RLC circuits, parallel RLC circuits, series parallel combinations, and then we move into analysis theorems such as uh, Thevenin's and Norton's theorem, superposition, source conversions. We then look at nodal and mesh analysis, and it will be handy if you have a calculator that will do simultaneous equation solutions with complex coefficients. We move on to AC power, looking at uh, the power triangle, things like um, power factor correction. And then we move into resonance, series and parallel resonance, polyphase power, three-phase power, basically. And the text finishes off with decibels and Bode plots. I'm just moving through here rapidly, you can just see sort of some of the things you're going to be looking at. Right. Description of sine waves, test equipment, Fourier series, the reactants. All of these chapters have a large set of problems at the end. The appendix includes uh, answers to a portion of them. Simulations are built in as well. We have graphics data from uh, various manufacturers. So that's what we're looking at there. Okay. Um, you might find it handy to have a simulator. And a, uh, a good simulator to use is this one from DesignSoft and Texas Instruments, available on the TI website. So you can just download this. This is a free version, version 9 of uh, the commercial TINA program. So there you have it. And we will begin with the next video looking at the sinusoidal waveforms, how to describe them, variations, and things such as that. Okay? See you then.